We talk about evil a lot, and yet we don't really talk about it at all. What actually is evil? When we use terms like cheater, thief, liar, murderer, psychopath, pedophile, we've often already decided, before even trying to understand a person, that they're not really a person at all. Rather, some sort of monster. A monster who we should not try to empathize with, because they are beyond understanding, beyond saving. They are evil. But it's time to dissect evil. You see, our reactions to deviants may tell us less about others and more about ourselves. In 1881, philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche wrote that thinking evil means making evil. He argued that evil is a subjective experience, not something that's inherent to a person or object or action. Taking this further, when we look at the science of evil, we find that proclivities underlying many of the things we label evil are really quite common. From neuroscience, we learn that our brains are built for sadism. From evolutionary psychology, that sometimes killing is the right thing to do. And from behavioral economics, that money changes our morality. It's time for you to explore humanity's dark side, to uncover the science of your living nightmares so that you can better understand those that you have labeled evil, but also to better understand your own sinister tendencies. Let me help you find your evil empathy.